And I was just like, I don't know what to do. Like every single time I use this product, it flakes. But my hair looks great. So I'm like, what do I do? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rickens, AKA Rickens. <laughs> and today we're doing empties. I haven't done an empties video in a long time and the little bag that I have that has all my empties is full. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do empties, right? So depending on how long this goes, I'm probably gonna split this up into like little segments. Maybe start with like supplements and shampoos and then conditioners and blah 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 blah. Y'all know y'all know the things. Let's just get started so that it's not too long. I'm gonna start with supplements just because easy peasy. I've kind of been sticking to the same supplements that I've been using for almost for a while now actually. So the first uh, supplement that I have is the main choice metabolism pills. This right here. <laughs> You didn't hear that. That was crazy. <laughs> Let's try this one. This one right here. I use them religiously. I have four right here. Each bottle is a month's worth. And I have one on top of my fridge right now and I have one in my closet. So like I've been taking these religiously for over a year now. And I, I don't know, I really like them. And I've noticed steady, consistent hair growth since I've been using them. Who's to say how much they're actually helping, but they do have MSM in them. And so that's kind of like the main reason why I've been using these because MSM kind of keeps your hair in the growth phase a little bit longer. So, so yeah, I approve of these. If I, if I didn't really feel like I was, I wasn't noticing a difference, I probably would have stopped taking these by now, but I don't know. I like them. I, I really like them. The next product is from Briogeo. It is the Destined for Density. Oh, I guess they're just called Destined for, Destined for Destiny pills. They look like this. So I have two of these. This is also the equivalent of four months. Each bottle has two months worth of pills in it. I really like these as well. I think these pills I think the cocktail of um, supplements that I've been taking have really affected my hair's like fullness more than just the actual hair growth. I feel like since I've incorporated these into my routine, my hair has actually been feeling a lot fuller. The other supplement that I use is the multi-collagen from Sports Research, this right here. I really like this. So I used to take the biotin pills from Sports Research, but because the Briogeo pills have biotin in them, I decided to just stick to those and then just get, I wanted to incorporate collagen into my routine. So I take these every single day. As you can see, I I like them. I feel like, I feel like they work. I feel like, ah! Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. So I really do feel like the entire like combination of all the supplements has really been helping my hair with like more fullness and like thickness and just the overall health of my hair as well as my body. But like we're focusing on hair, right? Um, I feel like, especially with the collagen, like my skin has been looking a lot clearer. Um, if you do see a pimple on my face, this one right here is a stress pimple because I've been stressed out. <laughs> but, um, but overall, like <laughs> my like my skin and my body, I've just been I've been feeling a lot better since just incorporating all of these supplements. Um, the next thing I have is also by Briogeo in the Destined for Destiny line. Um, this is their Coffee and Biotin Peptide Density Serum. So, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I, I don't, I, it's not that I don't like this, 
it's just I just don't want to I just don't want to use it if I'm being for real like you kind of have to apply it like every day and I really wasn't doing that um, I was really just content with the pills and how my hair was feeling after a couple of months of using the pills and this was just a different way to get the same ingredients on topic topically I don't really use serums I barely use oils like outside of my wash day so I'm sure this works and it helps I just didn't want to I just don't feel like doing the work of it like I know scalp, scalp massages are really important and blah blah blah, blah yada, yada yada but like I don't feel like it I'm lazy I don't I don't I don't want to you know um, so if it's not working then it's not working but if you are someone who does scalp massages all the time I feel like this would be a really good thing to like add to your routine to your routine um, normally I would do this before I would apply this to my scalp before I went to bed but yeah I just I just wasn't consistent with it you know what I mean um, I have another one in my bathroom and like I use it whenever I feel like using it but I think because I don't use it every day, it's not doing what I need it to do. So it's like, you know, but anyways, next. So next I have a vial from Epris. This is what I usually use to pre-poo my hair, or this is what I've been using most recently and most consistently um, to pre-poo my hair. Um, I have a video, I should have a video out about this now. Um, essentially you pour the vial into the, their little spray bottle that they give you, um, shake it up, spray it all over your hair, leave it on for 10 to however many minutes you want to, and then um, you rinse it out and go about your day. So for me, I really, really have been enjoying these products. Like I've been using them for like four, five months at this point. And I really, I'm, I'm a really big fan. I think this is my favorite form of bond, bond building products that I have used. I go into more detail about it in another video, but I have my pros and cons, but I really have been liking Epris lately. And I think this is a, this is a staple for sure. Like once I run out of the vials that I have, I kind of want to go back and try like Olaplex again, but I think <clears throat> I think this is gonna be hard to beat truly like um, I said it in my other video like I feel like I shed a little bit I, sh I feel like I shed less and my hair just feels overall just better um, and like doing my hair is just easy you know what I mean so I really I really like Everest so surprisingly I only have one shampoo this is the Shayurvedic Butter Shampoo from Sultanicals. I love this. This is amazing. Um, this is kind of like a co-wash. It calls itself a butter, it calls itself a shampoo, but like I use it as a co-wash. Um, this, I love Sultanicals, let me just say that. Like Sultanicals is probably one of my favorite brands. Um, this is so good. It feels so good. You leave it on your hair. Like you can almost kind of use it like a deep conditioner. Like once you rinse this out, you really, you don't need to deep condition at all. You can literally just use this and go on with your wash day. Like this is a bomb.com 10 out of 10 product. Love, 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 love. This is my only shampoo by the way. So I'm going to move on to like leave-ins. So I think, I think this is going to go by pretty quickly actually. So I think let's just keep going. Um, so I have two leave-ins. I have the almond and avocado leave-in conditioner from Design Essentials. This might get washed out, actually. My light might be really bright. Um, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I really tried. I really tried to make this work. I just, it feels like nothing on my hair. And yeah. It just feels like I've put nothing on my hair. And for that reason, I will not be repurchasing this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, try, I tried it. I mean, this is a lot, this is 12 ounces. So I've used this quite a bit. Every time, every single time I'm unimpressed, 
I, yeah, I'm just not a fan, sorry. And then next I have the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. I love this. I love this. I love this so much. However, um, it's expensive. It's not, you don't get a lot. Um, as somebody with natural hair, the amount, the amount of product that they want you to use is unrealistic for someone with hair like mine, right? Unless I wear my hair straight all the time. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So, as much as I do really like this, I just don't think, I really don't think I would per repurchase it. I really don't unless I got it for free somehow. You know what I mean? Like, I, this makes my, this has made a noticeably. What? This has made a noticeable change in my hair. When I did use it, I could see my hair was just more defined, shiny. Like my hair was all of the things that I wanted my hair to be. I just don't like using this as a leave-in. I, I genuinely, I don't, I don't. Why? Why not? <laughs> Why though? I don't, and I've, I've said this multiple times. You know, like every time K18 gets brought up, like I, I say it, like I, I love K18, but using this as a leave-in pisses me off. <laughs> like, it just makes me mad because, and I don't know, I've seen like bigger bottles of this and I'm like, where are those at? I like, if you know where to get the bigger bottle of this, I would probably buy that. But because then I, then I would feel less guilty about using more product because like, I'm obviously gonna use more product because I need more product to get, th get it through all of my hair you know what i mean unless i use water to like spread it around but i don't want to dilute the formula with water and like have it drip off of my hair like you know what i'm saying like as good as this product is i just feel like i'm either using too much or i'm like wasting product when i have to add water to my hair to like add slip like this has no slip and so like especially for a leave-in like i need this to i just need it to act like a leave-in that I would actually use regardless of the brand's name, right? But yeah, I mean, other than that, like, it, it works, this works so well. I just, it's just too expensive and it's just not a functional, for me at the moment, like, using Everest and then using this, like, I like using Everest as a pre -poo. I um i get all the benefits before i start doing my hair you know what i'm saying like with this i've already started doing my hair and now i have to like apply this to my hair and i have to wait four minutes and then i have to and then style like you know what i'm saying like i don't want to do all that you know what i'm saying like that's why you know yeah, yeah, yeah that's it you know uh, let's 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 just move on because i can talk about this forever okay you know what i'm just gonna this is just gonna be a really long video and you can skip back and forth all the things if you want to so next i'm going to be talking deep conditioners so this is a mask that i literally just emptied out today this is the tropical oasis hair mask from mish beauty hopefully you can see yes cool love i love this i haven't been on their website in a long time i hope they bring this back i know that they made the gel a permanent um a permanent product in their like lineup um and this is i use the gel today actually to do my hair so staple the gel the gel is a staple you know what i mean um but this is also a staple for me and i'm kind of sad that like they didn't also make this a permanent product like i really like this and like it's already amazing and like when I add my oil into it as well, it's just like double amazing. Like this is this is a great product. I highly recommend whenever this comes out, I buy it. So the next uh, couple of products I'm gonna have are from Sultanicals. So this is the Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask Treatment. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Highly recommend. Like this mask, this mask is so good. Like, great slip. The second it touches your hair, your hair just kind of like, and the thing I like about Sultanicals is that a lot of their deep conditioners, like 
The slip on them is amazing. And also, the, the softening of your hair is instantaneous. You know what I mean? So this mask, 10 out of 10 for me. I will always buy this. I will always have this in my rotation because it's so good. Um, the Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. So, this is not a 10 out of 10 for me. The slip on this is incredible. I will say that. The second I put this on my hair, like I can I can detangle my hair in quadrants when I use this product and I've, I've almost never been able to detangle my hair like that ever with any product. And this, is, this has been probably the only product that I've ever been able to do that with. But for whatever reason, I don't know, like whenever I rinse it out, it doesn't, it never feels, as good as when I put it in. And so this is this would be a great detangler for me. I would probably mix it in with another mask um, so that I can get everything that I want. Like this doesn't give me everything that I want. Like I would give this a nine, but, but yeah, I still highly recommend this product. It's just, I, it just doesn't give me everything that I want. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. The next two are also from Sultanicals. So this is the Afrotastic Curly Elastic Deep Conditioning Treat. Um, again, this is another one where I think my expectations were a lot higher because it was so, uh, so talked about in the natural hair space. I think that I really liked it. It didn't stand out to me. I think it's a good, I think it's a very good deep conditioner, but I, this just didn't stand out to me as much as I expected it that, as much as I expected it would because of how uh, well it's been talked about in the natural hair space. Sorry, I had to, you know, moisturize the lips because I feel like I always come on here with dry lips and I could feel myself licking my lips a little bit too much and I was like, go do something about that. Um, the next product that I have is the Super Fro and Bunu Hair Grow Scalp Defense Hair Intensive Mask, also by Sotanicals. This one, 10 out of 10. This is 10 out of 10, staple will always have this in my rotation. This bomb, 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 bomb. Amazing, 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 love. Woo, woo, woo. <gasps> right, so. Next I have the Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair Plant Foods Mega Deep Conditioner. This one was pretty good. This one was more of a strengthening mask for me. I still liked it, but I, I, I'm I finding that I really prefer like a protein moisture balance. Because my hair is usually balanced, I can always tell when a product has too, a little bit too much protein for me, or it's a little bit too strengthening for me, and this one was a little bit too strengthening for me. I still really liked it, and like, if my hair needs it, I would reach for this, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're at gels now, and I think that's it, right? Oh, period, okay, this is, this could be, we can make it, what is it, at 23? Y'all be fine, you'll be fine. <laughs> So my first product that I have is the Kinky Curly Original Defi uh, Curling Custard. Y'all know it, you love it, I love it. 10 out of 10, staple. Like, the last time I used this, my hair was moisturized for two weeks. Like, this is such a good product. It's such a good product and it defines hair so well and your hair just feels great and yeah can you really eat with this apparently there's a foam now and i kind of i'm kind of curious about it the thing about foams is that they the, it doesn't they don't last and that's what i don't like like foams will give me a really good wash and go for three days maybe and then it's over and then i'm and then i'm mad you know what i mean um but yeah this 10 out of 10. Next, I have 
the Sweet Pumpkin Spice Ayurvedic Firm Hold Hair Gel. Did I say that correctly? I felt like I said that wrong. <laughs> Love. This is so good. Like, 10 out of 10. I said, like, I think I said this before. I love all of Misha's limited edition products. This gel is bomb. Like, fall is coming up. I will be getting this again. <laughs> Period. Period! Next, I have the B Girl Honey Curl Custard by The Dew. Okay, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. I really like this product. The only problem that I have with this product is that like it doesn't, at least for me, I have not found any product that it actually pairs with. <laughs> and every time I use this, I get flakes. My hair always looks amazing, but I always get flakes, right? I have not found one pairing with this that doesn't give me flakes. Maybe I'm just using too much, but like, I really don't think that I have used too much of this. Like, I've had this product for, I've had this jar for so long and like, you don't need a lot. And I feel like, I don't know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna buy it again because I love the definition and the hold. I just need to figure out like, what combination works best for me. Yeah, if you guys know of any good combinations with the B-Girl, please let me know because I do, I, I am gonna repurchase this again at some point <clears throat> and I just want to be able to, you know, have fun and like mix it up with this product and I feel like I haven't really been able to do that because like even with this, the leave-in that goes in, that goes with this line, like it flaked with that too and I was just like, I don't know what to like every single time I use this product, it flakes. But my hair looks great. So I'm like, what do I do? What an embarrassment. <laughs> and last but not least for this video is the Tropical Oasis Hair, did I say Oasis? Tropical Oasis Hair Gel by Misha Beauty. I literally just finished this today. And, hello, if this doesn't tell you how I feel about the product, then, 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 <laughs> then I don't know, I, then I don't, I don't know what to tell you, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I love this product, 10 out of 10, highly recommend, I will always buy this again. This is now a staple, not a staple, a permanent product in the Mish Beauty collection. So like, prepare for this, honestly, prepare for this to be sold out all the time. Like, they're selling this on TikTok, they're selling it on their website, they're always, like, this is gonna be probably so hard to like get a hold of now. Thankfully, I have another full jar. I might have two full jars left. So like, I'm gonna be saving those. Um, for when I run out of, like when I am dwindling down on my stash. Cause I still, I wanna have like my faves left, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna say that was short and sweet, but I don't think I need to, I don't think I really need to like edit it too, too much. How long has it been? Oh, almost 30 minutes. It's fine, it's fine, who cares? Like, you know what I'm saying, like, literally, who cares? Um, if you made it far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace!